Well, hey guys, wanna welcome you to my channel. Today is November 2nd, if you're watching it the day this video comes out. It happens to be my 38th birthday. He's lying. 16 times. Anyway, if you are new to the channel, I wanna welcome you. I'm Jeff Ford. Uh, Plugmaster Ford is the YouTube channel. Would appreciate you considering to subscribe if you enjoy what you see in this hunt that we're gonna have today. Also guys, for my birthday, if you're not sending me a gift, I would appreciate it if you would just hit the like button. That's all I need, like button. Well, a gift would be nice too. Anyway, I also wanna thank you guys. I am sitting here in front of lots of treasure. Now a lot of this was purchased, none of it was found. But I do have Patriots Gold and Silver Shop uh, here in Springfield, Missouri. It's 1907 South Glenstone in Springfield, Missouri. I do want to thank those of you who have come by and seen me. I really, I enjoy that a lot. Appreciate meeting a lot of the subscribers and, uh, and just having them come and check out the shop. We do have gold, we have silver, we have rare collectible coins, currency, paper money, uh, tokens, all kinds of things. Um, that would make awesome Christmas presents this year. So do think about that. Anyway, guys, this week's hunt is really fun. Mike and I had a great time. Uh, it's a couple hunts put together, but um, we're just so thoroughly enjoy metal detecting. If you guys would like to get into metal detecting, I'll put my email address up. I can send you out codes that would help you to save some money. So on to the hunt, let's go. Well, hey guys, Mike and I are out after work today. After We're work, Twinkies. Yeah. Actually, I forgot my clothes, so Mikey loaned me, <laughs> loaned me a shirt. I went in and bought some shorts, so they're gonna get filthy. This house right here. We have wanted to hunt this house for quite a long time, but it's been vacant. Yep. Mike saw someone working on it the other day, stopped in and got permission, and it's go time. So, time. Jeffy is gonna do a show it all in this yard. This is a really, really, really old part of town. I'm not sure the age on this. Did you ever find out? It's 1880s. 1880s. So it's we're going to hit it hard. Wish us luck, and we will show it all. There's a lot of yard here. Woohoo! All right. I told you it was going to be a show it all. This is how far I've gone. Uh, about 10 steps without a signal. I had one here. It was kind of scratchy, bouncing around. It just popped it up. I don't know what that is. If it's penny, if it's nickel. Or if it's a slug, or if it's a token, or if it's a button, or if it's junk, which I think it's junk. But that's fine, number one. We'll go on. So Mikey just came over to me and he said, you're gonna have to see what I found over here. And it was on the surface. All you could see was the gemstone right there. And check that out, it's a sterling earring. Does it say Sterling or 925? Probably 925. It looks a little bit newer. Yeah. But that is cool, yeah, right? Awesome. First, first, one dig, first spot, I guess, what you'd want to no, call it. No, nice. Eyeball spot. Nice. So they got her posted up good, guys. Yeah, good yeah. find, buddy. All right, let's see what else we can find. Second target I was pretty sure was this, and it's a bottle cap. With the Amphibio, the bottle cap will give a little bit of a growl. Um, and this one was kind of faint, so I'm not sure if it was laying a certain way. Uh, sometimes a silver dime will give a little bit of that grunt too, or growl. Um, but if you spend enough time, you can't tell the difference. But this one was shallow, so I thought I'd dig it. And target number three, not far away, is a really heavy piece of metal. Iron, I'm guessing. That thing is heavy. I'm going to set it down, not carry it. Had a good 88, 85 signal right here against the sidewalk. Told Mikey it could be good, but it's not. It is a hose clamp. Seen it's better day. Well, on my very next signal, I was hoping for an Indian, and guess what I got? A watch gear. Probably made of the same material. I guess we'll take it. Mikey and I were just talking, there are not a lot of targets uh, in this yard, which means it's probably been sniped by someone, knowing it was vacant, but a lot of big yard back there, so we're gonna hit that. We've both taken a section. I'm doing this section. He's doing the section on the other side of the sidewalk there, and I did have a good signal here, and it's just a copper fitting. 
with a cap on the end. Uh, it's been cut off, but that's a good target. I mean, sound-wise and tone-wise, uh, I mean, which are the same thing, giddy up. Number-wise is what I meant to say, but anyway, we'll put that in the bag and keep going. Had a, a good tone here. It ranged on the Amphibio in from the upper 60s to low 80s. It's kind of jumpy. I just popped it out. I don't know what it is. It's small and it's round. I don't think it's anything precious. Oh, look, cardinal feather. That's cool. I didn't kill it. What do we have here? A button of some sort? Maybe a sales tax token of some sort? I don't know. Maybe it's junk of some sort? That's probably more the case. I'll clean it up. If it's anything, I will bring it back and show you. If not, that is it. Yeah. We are both looking pretty forward to getting to the back. Uh, and again, not much up here. What there is is kind of trash. This one, I almost told Mikey, this is my first coin signal. And I'm almost done with this front part. But it wasn't a coin. Bring up 7172, which is a good wheat. But an old, uh, I don't know, Preparation H, we'll call it. <laughs> Who knows? I moved out into the sidewalk strip here. And it obviously has been hit as well. But I did manage a good little target good numbers anyway and a good signal kind of jumpy just because of all the little mechanisms but no trigger from a cap gun I'm guessing that's awful long trigger but I guess not anyway maybe we can get something good out of here we'll see we have been here over an hour now well actually yeah right at an hour right now Mikey's working the sidewalk strip back behind me here and I finally got my first coin. And it wasn't just coin, it was coins. Two dimes and a zinc penny. Not real impressive, but it beats the other stuff I've been showing you. We're going to keep trying. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, my only hope with this yard. You can see how big it is. And uh, that up there obviously been pounded. I got a little puppy a pit bull right there. What you doing, bud? What you doing? Anyway, I had a 71 signal. No, you stopped that. I'm videoing. Yeah, I know it. I know it. 71. And it just popped up what I think is a button. Yep. Oh. Oh, my. Look at the gold on that. What kind of button do we have here? Oh, that's just going to be one of those civilian, I think. I don't know. But, boy, does that have some nice gold to it. You guys see that? I can get it to focus on that. Let me put it down. I can't tell. You know my eyes are so bad I can't tell if we're focused or not. Right there. That's probably civilian. And not military. Anyway though, that is a good target out of this yard. And I'm going to take it. I worked all down that side right there. Uh, that's where I found that button. Uh, there were some bigger target signals in there. It's kind of hard. There's a lot of stobs. It was so grown up and I thought maybe I would be able to pick something out. But anyway, I got back here to the back and I thought, well, I'm just going to cruise on over. You can see they're doing some demolition here on this house. And I uh, thought I'd check this middle area and I got out where they've scraped it and uh, got a decent signal, 70, 71. And I think I threw out a thimble. That's exactly what it is. See if it's an advertising thimble. Not seeing anything on it. We can hit it with a little bit of squirty squirt, I guess. Not many targets here, guys. There's some uh, undesirable sounds that I don't want to mess with. I don't want to bore you with them, so. All right, that doesn't look to me like it's got any writing on it. So it's going to be a Plano from the Plano company. Plain old thimble. We'll take it though. This is why you always wear your gloves. In with that little penny. It's a memorial. At least it's not a zinc. It's a good memorial. With this razor blade. Got to be careful. Always, always. Be careful. Well, there's lots of trash back here, as you can imagine, from the uh, job that they're doing. You can see they've brought in some gravel. I'm not going to mess with out there just because I don't want to dig through it. But I was working the side here and had a good signal and popped it up. And what do you guys think that is? We find these 
time to time. What do you think it is? A dart? Missing the fletchings and the point? Ah, uh -uh, you would be incorrect. That is for something else. It looks like a baseball bat, as if you could get one hit out of it. Ah, clues are good. Good luck. Well, I'm right beside the house now, and uh, this target was interesting. It had uh, good numbers, really good numbers, uh, but the sound had just a little bit of a grunt to it. I think I know why now. It's like an old sash buckle. Yes, sir. -y. It's got the teeth right there got one little gem left in it maybe another one oh yeah it's got them both I'm not sure what that's made of not very good material feeling wise but we'll take her I could just ask if I found anything it's hard to say yes but I have found some relics and this one is another relic just an old spoon handle I'm guessing spoon it's an awful short Eh, maybe it's not. Spoon probably came out to here, I would guess. Anyway, that is what it is. You guys are seeing what I'm finding. Not really much good yet, but we'll keep trying. There are a few targets left. They're just not the most desirable of targets, <laughs> in my opinion. But at this one, which had upper 50s, low 60s, and if you guys know what that is, pretty cool. You find these quite often. Not quite often. Now I lost it. Where'd it go? It has to be right there somewhere because I just dropped it. You guys seeing it? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? We'll find it with the trusty pin pointer. Oh, there it is. Golly. It's amazing I can find anything as hard as that was. That is a Model T Ford ignition timing thing in a jigger from what I understand it's broke off on one side it should look like this on the other but it's a good relic I got a collection of those we'll put this one with them you guys see that train over there we are right by the hub well not really the hub but we're close to uh, the railroad Mikey dug a cool conductor button a while ago I had a 69 signal here I just popped it up and it slid back down. You guys see it. It is definitely the size of something that I like. And it is going to be a fob or maybe a really old dog tag. Could be. Can we get anything off of it? Or it could be a railroad tag. Uh, 37 it says on it. What's the sound top? It's got a train, train number on it. Allen. Huh? Almost looks like it says Allen. Here, brush it off. Allen. Huh. Let's clean it up and we'll come back and show you real quick. All right, Mikey's hung up in the root, but got it cleaned up. Um, if you can see there, it says Alamo Hotel. Awesome. Room number 37. Yeah, Mikey, I can see the O now. Yeah. It is a weak stamp on the Alamo. It is. Mikey said it said something on the back here. Uh, I can't tell. I might have to clean it up though. But that is cool. I'll have to research the Alamo Hotel and I will let you know about that. Woohoo! The old sun is starting to go down. Uh, my buddy is irritated with me over there. Mikey probably irritated with me. No, he shouldn't be. I left him some odd targets that he dug and wound up being a couple buttons. So he's pretty tickled with that. I came over here and had a little shallow target and went ahead and popped it out and it's a harmonica reed it's uh one of those it's not made out of brass so it's like a zinc you find these every once in a while they're usually in poor shape like this one is but they ring up a little bit lower than normal so uh anyway we'll take it well hey what's up guys i am back old schooling it i've gone with my jvc quad proof camera hd uh, i switched away from my phone because it just doesn't give me the details that I like to see. 
I know a lot of people are probably like me when you're watching a YouTube video and people are showing their finds and you can't even tell what they are. It gets a little frustrating. I got that way with my own videos. So we have switched things up. Mikey photobombing in the background here. So we get permission at this other house and the dogs are just barking crazy. And the guy says, oh, you might want to check out this other house I have. It's 1800s built. Grass is a little bit high. We thought we'd come over and take a look at it, and boy, are we glad we did, Mikey. Oh, yeah. Let's hit it, bud. All right, man. Let's go for it. The grass is giving us a little bit of trouble. Uh, it's not terrible, but you can see it's kind of high. A lot of clumps. Uh, good news is no interference out here. Dug a few pieces of trash so far, and this would actually qualify as trash, but I just popped it up. And it is an old Hot Wheel of some sort. Not sure anything about it. What flavor, what variety. Metal bottom. Hot Wheels up front. 724. Seen this better day. It's been hit a time or two, but we'll take it. Keep seeing if we can get anything better. I have worked my way around, and as you can see, I'm right up against um, the walkway here. And uh, I got my first, what I would consider a coin signal uh, out in this yard. But I don't think it's a coin. It's coin shaped, if you can see it down in there, right here. I think it might be a token. It's awful thin. Probably a Missouri sales tax token if I was guessing. That's what it's feeling like. And that's exactly what it is. The one mil Missouri sales tax token. Well, that's not a stellar find, but it beats the other junk that we're pulling out of here. And so it gives us a little bit of age and hopefully we can work off that. Get something better. I have hunted every bit of this out here from that cedar tree over to here and have found not a whole lot. Mikey's out there, I'm not sure what he's got. But I finally got my first coin up here next to the house. I was getting ready to work around the side here and maybe look in the back. But I got a coin signal and it jumped everywhere. It looks like a penny. See it sitting right there? Could be a zinc, although people hadn't lived here for a long time. Could be a button. It rang up like it could have been a wheat one time. There's Lincoln. We will know pretty soon if the game is on. Let me put on my pants real quick and see. I'm wearing britches today because it's cold. Oh, that is crunchy. That is crunchy, and that's going to take a little bit of work. Maybe we can get a date. And that would confirm if, in fact, it was a wheat penny. But it's pretty crunchy. Yeah, I'm not getting anything off of that. Uh, anybody see one cent? If you do, shout it out, because I'd be up one. I sure don't see a memorial. I'm thinking it's a weedy. I'm going to count it, just to put the pressure on old Mikey. <laughs> Hey Mikey, where are you going? Uh -huh. I said, where are you going? Going over here. <laughs> Mikey yeah, came up to the street but didn't come to the backside. And old Jeffy got a good solid signal. And as you can see, there's one cent, baby. Can't tell, it looked like a little bit of green where I rubbed it just a hair. Maybe you guys can see it. 40 something maybe. So probably not too old, but I'm going to take it because I think that's two to nothing now. Woohoo! Too old, baby! Mikey and I moved on to another town. We got a permission. This house built in the early 1900s. Has been metal detected by the owner. Um, showed us some of the finds that he, he found a Three Mary Widow tin and a nice compact. And this is a first for me in a long time. Can you see it right there? Right there. I have not dug a neckerchief slide in forever. That's the wolf. That is fantastic. I'm always happy to find some Boy Scout Americana. 
for Cub Scouts or Weebelows. That is cool. Love it. See if we can get some more. Just got started here. Well, if this is what I think it is, I guess it would be a bucket list here because I've never dug one before. Huh. Let's see. What say ye? At first I thought it was a smoking pipe, but it's not. I think it's a dog whistle. Yeah. I think that's exactly what it is, a dog whistle. I wonder if I blow it if Mikey would hear it. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't funny, was it? Hey, anyway, that's cool. I believe that's exactly what that is, a dog whistle. We'll take that. Thought old Mikey and I were going to go coinless um, in this yard. The guy had done a pretty good job, but I just popped one up. Probably a newer one. I don't know. It's a Lincoln. We can see that much. And it's a memorial. At least not a zinc, though. So it'll at least go into the coin star machine. We'll take it. I have uh, almost completed this front little section. I took from this edge of the house to the sidewalk. Mikey took sidewalk to the driveway. And then we're going to split this side over here once we both get done. I was coming through and had a good signal. I didn't even think that it was a signal similar to what I'd already had today. And I just popped it up. And check it out. It's another neckerchief slide. This one is a Weebelow. And it's a bigger one. So I got a Weebelow. I got a wolf. Not very far apart either. I think the wolf was just like right up in there somewhere. I'm working my way back, so I got one more pass between here, but that is cool. Getting the collection going now. I like that. <laughs> well, I know that Mikey dug an Indian earlier. I'm not sure where he stands on wheats. Out of that hole right there, I believe it's a wheat. I looked at it. Yes, I think I see one cent on there. Uh, yeah, can't tell a date on there. Maybe you guys can see it a 30 something, I believe, or 20. I think it's a 30 something, which is good. There's not many targets here. Guy's done a pretty good job, but one person hunting a big old yard like this, it is hard to get her done. But happy with that. Well, hey guys, I'm back again. Hope you enjoyed that episode. We didn't find a ton, but the Alamo Hotel fob made the whole thing worth it to me. Now listen, here's something I want to throw out to you. This wall here uh, at Patriots Gold and Silver, I'm going to put some giant cork boards up and I'm starting a board for stickers. I have some here. I know I've had some others somewhere at the house, but here's some of the stickers that I have received and those will go right up here on this cork board. Uh, I am working on putting together or uh, getting something arranged to where I will have machines in here. Metal detectors, spin pointer shovels, uh, you know, just the usual stuff for digging uh, and metal detecting. So if you would like your sticker to be on this board, either come by the shop here at 1907 South Glenstone in Springfield, Missouri, or send me one in the mail. P.O. Box 335 Seymour, Missouri, 65746. Put the address down below. And I uh, would love to put yours up on the boards that I'm going to have here to go with the rest of the YouTube stickers. So, again, hit the like and wish me happy birthday if you haven't done it already. We'll see you next week.